Tonight we report on a driver seriously injured in a crash near Efreda and industrial rail could return to the Grant County International Airport. What's happening in sports, Bob? Thanks, Alan. The Lady Vikings drop a nail biter to Spokane and the Apple Sox add two GU players to its 2015 roster. Let's take a glance at our weather center forecast. And here in the weather department, it's a little bit on the boring side, but to be honest with you, I wouldn't have it any other way. Springtime is coming. All the details coming up. I'm Alan Troop, and we have all this and much more on iFiber One News. From the iFiber One HD studio here in the heart of the Columbia Basin, this is iFiber One News, your number one source for local news sports headlines, and our very own Weather Center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. This is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Moses Lake resident David Kroll was identified as the driver seriously injured in a crash Tuesday morning near Efreda. The 22-year-old was ejected from his 2001 Ford Explorer after he reportedly drove off of Dodson Road into a ditch. The SUV struck a driveway and became airborne and rolled before coming to rest on its side. Crowell landed about 20 feet away from his vehicle in a field. A witness reportedly told Grant County Sheriff's deputy she was driving north on Dodson Road when the Explorer, also heading north, approached at a high rate of speed. The witness told deputies the man was conscious and walking after the crash, and she was able to get him to lie down before emergency personnel arrived. He suffered a serious head injury and was taken to Columbia Basin Hospital in Ephrata before being flown to Providence Sacred Heart Medical Center in Spokane, where he is listed in serious condition. The Sheriff's Office Motor Traffic Unit is investigating. Students in the Computer Science Department at the Columbia Basin Technical Skills Center are learning how to design and build their own video games from the game's artwork to its presentation. Reporter Devin Higgins has the details. In most high schools, playing video games during class time is usually frowned upon. In the Columbia Basin Technical School's AP Computer Science Department, though, it's not only encouraged, it's mandatory. Sitting there animation. The program was designed in collaboration with the Redmond-based DigiPen Institute of Technology as a way to educate the next generation of computer software engineers and game designers. Students collaborate to design and build their own games, including the artwork, music, and presentation. Dr. Terry Pixley runs the department and says while students use games to learn, it's about much more than that. Well, actually, this is an AP computer science class. And um, I think that they had tried some things like this up at the high school, but, you know, it's really hard because it's a difficult course. And so they had gone with DigiPen and they were working with a project fun. And yes, I know video games sound like all we do is sit here and play video games, but the focus is on learning how to code. Coding is the new literacy. It's the literacy of the future. So you can use this coding in a, in a vast number of careers, engineering, medical, military, um, anything that requires a simulation. So yeah, they're, le but they, they're learning video games but they have to code those video games. These kids are going to be the makers of technology, not just the users of it. They could take this into college. They're getting their third year math credit. They can get an art credit. They can get CTE credits. Um, the sky's the limit in here. Moses Lake senior Sony Ramos said learning the foundations of game design is a challenge that's furthered her appreciations of the game she loves to play at home. At first, uh, it was really tough, but then I got super excited because now I can actually do things and even though it's not much and some people will just like put it to the side because it doesn't look like much at all and stuff but actually it's, it's pretty interesting because it's like you're making something out of nothing and it's exciting. When you're, you see those giant games, Battlefield and stuff, you're just like, oh my gosh, this would take forever. If I'm at my standing right now, trying to make a giant game like that, it just blows my mind away. In Moses Lake, Devin Higgins for iFiber One News. 
And now we take a look at people being sought by law enforcement. This is Sheriff Tom Jones with the Grand County Sheriff's Office. Each of the people you see here have a warrant for their arrest. If you see any of these people, we ask you to not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but call us at 509-762-1160 or send us an email at primetips at co.grant.wa.us. If the person is presenting a danger, call 911. With your help, we can bring these people to justice and make our community safer. Short break. We'll be right back. 